tonight on Poker After Dark. Big star. Jake Daniels bluffs, hero calls, and shoves his way around the table. Come on. All in. You're going to be famous someday. Daniel Negreanu goes deep into the tank. Oh, And the last two pots of the night are worth a total of 400K. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Daniels. And welcome back to Are You Resort and Casino inside the Poker Go studio in our Poker After Dark suite, where the third and final frame of this 200-400 No Limit Hold'em cash game is upon us with the $400 Annie, Ali Najad, and Veronica Brill bringing you the action. Jake Daniels, a late arrival. Three in the green, three in the red, and Dan Smith effectively treading water right now in for 100000 Big winner on the day, Zach Franzi in the two hole. Had to go with the wardrobe change <laughs> after the first break. You think I was there? Real skirty cat. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, you probably wanted to win. I did win. The thing is, once it goes on, is it really going to come off? Yeah, it can. I don't know if it will, but it can. <laughs> two different questions. <laughs> Correct. It can always come it, off. it is possible. Always. It definitely happens. I've never seen it. Oh, yeah. So the straddle is on, and Berkey stands up and says, let's play for 1,600. Big, biggest pot I've ever played. Just a min raise. It was originally 2-4, and he just, just shows up. up. And he's like, oh, I thought we were playing poker. What is this, 2-4? OK, it's 4-8. Like, All right, then I'll sit down. Daniel's never one to fold. Just Defense, yeah. flops himself a pair. 1,000 yards steering, thank you, my biggest Fortunately, he's up against a queen high Yellow flush. Eight. Yeah. One point four million at three hundred. Check calls four hundred. No ante. Okay. When did it go in? Nice size. Uh, like seventy percent went in pre-flop, and the other thirty on the flop. <laughs> Who saved the thirty pre? Not me. Who <laughs> saved the thirty pre? Maybe it was like sixty forty, but okay. basically. Twenty eight hundred. This was the biggest pot you've won or played? No, I did not win this pot. We ran it four times. They got one sixteen. <laughs> you split one? I split one. Nice. I was playing a tournament at the area. Like, we were in the upstairs. So he was just, like, in the middle area. And, like, the room kind of just stopped for me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing. This was at Aria. And they were out of tables. So we were playing the $1, $2 low limit section. Nice. I just heard yo and it looked over. I'm like, oh, Scott's playing a big one. I was playing a big one. Daniel's check call 2800 drawing dead. Oh, horrendously far behind where you pre. I mean, I had aces. Playing eight or better? Yeah, P P the yellow eight. Yeah. Would you I have was, anything to go with them? Eight, ace, ace, queen, six, one suit. The one. We were, all, one we were three ways. Fold. First, ace, deuce, three, king. You bet 10,000 I was going to call you with a deuce. I, I drew the line in the sand at 10,000. Good math. Is that Burke, man? Hard for me to have a pair on that board. I didn't think it was like me. I may have even gone 11-5. <laughs> but flop a flusher? I have a straight with a heart draw, and he has jack five of spades for a straight and a spade draw. Neither of us stable our hands. First one's a heart, and oh. I go, I think that's me. Yeah. And the second one's a brick, and I go, straight? Yeah, that was. Good eye. One of the line items on this group's resume. Oh, now, every, now everybody wants to play. Our certainly brings everybody out. It does. Replete everybody was sleeping. with big pots. 1.4 million at one point, said Seaver. Got three bet MJ's open, last hand. And here, Dan Smith, three bets Berkey's. Oh. 
Berkey has enough to continue. The biggest problems in a game, I didn't know if it was 100% would be the oh, God, oh my God, that's, that would, that would give me nightmares for yeah. my life. Yeah. Jesus. That can't, be, that can't be a whisper story. I was saying the, the biggest pot I ever played was in a game that I wasn't exactly 100% sure was legit. It was on the up and up. Oh, God, that's, that's not great. That, that's 70% of games I played previous to like 2017. <laughs> I mean, it turned out, it, of course, it was legit. You won the hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, wow. that's what it meant to me. <laughs> no. I feel like no one I know has won the biggest pot they've ever played. I, I lost the I biggest did. pot I ever played. I think I've like lost then, like one through guess three. guess who it was against? I won it. Yeah. ARB. <laughs> yeah, I won my, I won, yeah. see, I won mine against ARB. I feel the answer to who did you play your biggest pot against of JRB of is number one in like the world, on planet Earth. I'd probably have to agree with and you. And what was so sick is I was just so 100% I had the absolute nuts. Yeah, the there was great. nothing that could go it's wrong It's impossible. Here. 57K went in pre-flop and I flopped top set. He's like, yeah, I flopped a straight. I'm like, but, what? But wait, what? Yeah, I'm like, it's jack eight seven. What What do you mean? Oh my God. Berkey, yeah, check call 3,500 on the called. flop with the heart draw. Well, now I he's hit an eight. And he called. And it's checked once more. I just put a horrible beat on him last week. Dan has picked up the gut shot. I three bet with aces, playing my limit. He just called, obviously. Fox comes to king five. jack seven, rainbow. He could have like a queen 10 spades here, ace 10, maybe ace queen. Yeah, there, there, there are some trouble things. Right, there's some combo draws. and or He never has kings or jacks here. He always has maybe a set of sevens, like that's worst scenario. Mm -hmm. Jam on him. He tanks forever and calls. He has king jack. We run it twice. Oh my seven, god. Seven seven. Oh my <laughs> god. Jeez. <laughs> he goes ballistic. He That's goes, actually the most satisfying thing of all time. He goes, he goes, did you have a set? I'm like, nah, I got two pair. And he goes, me too. And she's like, no, I have ace. Take 35. <laughs> oh. That is just so good. sweet. Oh, that's so sweet. Oops. Back to action in progress. Oh, the deuce pairs on the river. Look in the history ever, as far as I'm. I've seen him take some of the most horrendous scenarios. Oh, yeah. After Berkey check call 13-5 on the turn. In the universe about drawing All in. This All in. Oh, that's like the easiest jam ever on that river. Like, He's checked the river and Smith says all in. And Berkey needs to decide whether or not Smith actually has better than Jack-8 here. 83,200. Preflop, Berkey made it 1,600 in the straddled pot. Smith made it 5,200. Berkey called. He check called 3,500 on the flop with the hard draw. Picked up an eight on the turn, check called 13,5. And on the river, he lets it go. Ta da! God, I had Queen nine, bluff. Yeah. Hold on. I had the eight. Ta da! Smith has shown off the bluff. The That's you. <laughs> I was going to call on a lot of rivers. The deuce is tough. Although you're probably more over bluffed on the deuce than anything else. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Before the break, Cowboy Dan bluff shoved the river, and Matt Berkey couldn't pull the trigger on a hero call, sending an 82K pot into Dan Smith's stack. Lost five on it. Oh. Front stack's a little dirty, pal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hate that to be the bearer of bad news, but uh. <laughs> 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 
I should have told him. I think he got a cranberry in the front. <laughs> Seaver and Daniels yeah, yeah, in for 2K <laughs> each pre. Bottom pair against top pair. Checked on the flop and turn now on the river. Seaver leads for 1,200. This round of straddles has been great. We had two cards within five cards of each other. And Daniel's not content to just call. Raises. Well done, Jake Daniels, milking an extra 2,100 out of Seaver's jacks. Daniels, who proposed these straddles, has been fairly active in the round. Franzi not afraid to play a ragged ace on the button. Suited small stuff for Negranu. Check. Three-way affair. Clean 6-4, top pair for Jake. Bottom pair for Daniel. Checked around. Big card on the turn for Negranu. Got shot straight flush draw to go with the pair. Franzi hits the three. $3,200 turn bet called in two spots and the seven on the end, giving Negranu two pair, which he will check with four to a straight out there. And will Zach get after this 16-6? Try to wrap a five. That answers that question. Straddle pot pre, frenzy. Flatted on the button, round of checks on the flop. He called the 3200, and now he gets through out. the best hand. Job, <laughs> That's what I'm going to say when you show me 7 4. I have an ace in my hand. No 7 4. Evidently, Daniel had the 7-4. Hmm. Mm 
There you go. Oh, oh. I mean, obviously you called with the queen because you're oh. Jake and we're on TV. So I'm gonna <laughs> give you the Bobby speech. You're gonna be famous someday. <laughs> you're gonna be a real star. Real Big star. No oh, you got the best handout. Man, you were talking 7-4, and I'm like, I have 7-4. <laughs> big, big <Clubs>. star. <laughs> yeah, but 7-4 club. Big star. Well, you play good. Jake's horrible. Obviously, a queen no-kicker's got to be good three ways when I call behind. Horrible or not, he's hauling in a nice one here. Big star. You keep it up, kid. That's what it ends with. You guys say, you keep it up, kid. Give him pretty high class. <laughs> speech I'm probably calling. Yeah, that was nice. Before the break, Zach Franzi tried to bluff in a three-way pot, but Jake Daniels picked him off, leaving Daniel Negreanu to stew about folding the best hand. I mean, I prefer not to lose with Jacks and whatever the f else I had. Oh no, I've been loving it. I've just been loving losing with all my hands. What are you talking about? It's a blast. I, I would rather fold it than have to, <laughs> and then I, I put a nice little value bluff in, just trailing in the third spot. Here comes Jake with his queen eight. <laughs> Can't let this go. Like obviously never has two pair or a straight ear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he just calls behind. Pew. Jack ten picks up a couple of eights. And I'm gonna check eight, nine for a ride. Dark check out of Negranu who flops Sorry, an open I, ender. This is not good because I can't beat him. Well, then I'm glad I folded because I would have folded to you anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, that yeah. was sick. He was blocking an eight, so he could have. Pre flop razor fires <laughs> 2,000 with second pair. <laughs> he had an eight with that queen, so he was blocking it. Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I don't know what that means, but absolutely. 7, 6, 4, it's 3. It's like, you know. 7, 6, 4, 3. You know, it's yeah. hard to have the A5 then when he has the queen eight. I mean, it is. I might want to Sounds like good logic to me. I'd rather block five, but what do I know? I don't know, I'd rather just win the pot and not think about it anyway. I'd just rather go like, call, show me, you know? MJ I'm folds the eights, thing. leaving Negranu, the lone caller for 2K. And he picks up a six on the river, giving him the nuts after Berkey checked back. Your buddy's like, come to the end for dinner. Like, yeah, so far. Who said that? <laughs> Jay. We'll go to Anthony's. I don't care if we go anywhere. It's hella far. Straight. $7,500 oh. river bet gets paid off by Berkey. Jin. Yeah. Yes, Daniel? That's you. <laughs> Berkey looks like he's reaching for reinforcements and 2000. not going to add him on just yet, it appears. Deja vu. Nice hand, Dan. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Matt won't defend his straddle. Yes. Smith raises and takes it with the ace queen. Smith's biggest score to date came in 2019 in London at the Triton Poker Super High Roller Series, a one million pound buy-in event. He took down 8.76 five million dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Bryn okay, Kenny. Right? Yeah. He finished second. Right. Aaron Zhang was the victor. But with that victory, Bryn Kenny became number one on the all-time money list. Meanwhile, Daniel suited and connected, but dominated. Faces a three bet out of Zach, Daniel. When I have to go, uh, when I do have to go, can I buy that 25 off you? Appreciate it. You want more of them? Or are you just trying to get rid of I'll take more if you want. Okay. I don't care. I don't yeah. want the flags. I read that, that doesn't want to be greedy, you know. No, absolutely not. I just want everyone to get what's coming to them. <laughs> By whose definition? Absolutely mine and no one else's. <laughs> I was going to say, by whose definition? Is that what's coming to me? Minus uh, 55K? No, definitely not. Jake took his time. Looked like he might have been thinking about something. Oh, Ultimately goes. flats and flops himself bottom pair. The ten of spades is working. Negrano with the ace. Sizing just right to keep that 8-9 interested. Four, no help. Now the big guns. 20K. loftier hurdle here on the turn. Come on. All in. How much is it? If Jake decides to Ooh, raise all in. Putting maximum pressure on Daniel here. Ace nine is by no means the nuts. Um, calling my fifteen. Interesting spot. Wow. Hold it a pair. The bases? Yeah. The highest pair available. Mm. Mm. Gutsy stuff out of Jake Daniels. Gets the best hand into the muck. And it's been that kind of day for Daniel Negranu, now stuck 82,000. Crush that four, huh? Back inside the Poker After Dark Suite, where an already huge 200-400 game is made even bigger with the $800 straddle. <laughs> we have seen some monster pots on the regular. Twenty-one hundred. Zach makes it twenty-one hundred. Negranu. <laughs> With King Four suited, See what it has to play was. a pot in position <laughs> against him. Dear diary, dear diary, this hand is no bueno. <laughs> I hate your guts. Fourteen hundred. Frenzy, it's the jack. That's just fourteen hundred, which Daniel promptly calls. Looking to hit a king or a spade on the turn, and. 
It's the latter. You want to get dinner after this? Babe? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Pick a place. It's not at the M, 18 trillion miles away. <laughs> so it's Monday, and I don't know what's still open on the strip, but I would think going to somewhere at the Cosmopolitan would be our best bet. How the years? No, I had that hour, two hours ago. Oh. We could. Uh, Negreanu called the 4400. Like Flyer or no? All that closes early now. Everything has like earlier hours. Now, right Zach now. slows down. I check. Check. Seven Jack. That's good. Daniel is keeping it together, but there is a point at which you begin to grow tired of being shown winners. And that threshold, I'm guessing for most of us, was crossed some time ago. When are you leaving town or are you still staying here? Next week. Where are you going back to? On the other hand, Zach Franzi is trending the other way. As we see the many faces of a man who is playing well, running even better, and just having a great night. I was supposed to go today with him. I chose to be responsible and show up here on time. Mm. <laughs> we know how that worked out for Jake. He's winning all the money. I, I said, ladies and gentlemen. Call. Jake mixing it up with a limp as one of his sevens are busy in Negreanu's hand. A six deuce with a couple of diamonds. Negranu has the diamond draw. Seaver and Daniels both called as the board paired. Daniels with the best hand, but Negreanu is going to barrel once more, this time 4,000. Down goes the deuce. in there Check. for the four dimes, but now Negranu finally has the best hand. How much will he try to scalp off of Daniel Stack here with the diamonds? Eighty-five. Hmm. North of half pot, and Jake appears bemused. Maybe I am completely off. Mm. You have two fives, Daniel? I feel like you have two fives. Mm. I don't like it. When I don't like it, I normally call. <laughs> 
Damn it. All right, I'm gonna fold. Man. And while Daniel is dragging the pot here, it honestly does feel as though it's an extension of his run bad, considering that he didn't get paid off by Jake, who seemed oh so close. I think you have a six or something? I pocket seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was in really bad shape before the flop. But on the river, I was in very Very good shape indeed, as Daniel tries to work his way out of the red, and we work our way to a break. But stay tuned, more Poker After Dark coming up. It has been a rough night for Kid Poker as he has either folded the winner or been shown the best hand far too many times. But plenty more poker to be played. Let's get right to it. So I wasn't even upset. Oh, I'm I'm like, I don't want to think they probably care. The, uh, the cannon goes, uh, you have a set. Remember that? Against Ike? Yeah. I do remember that. You blinked. You blinked, that's right. Was he right? Paul. Ike did have a set. Dude, he blinked. Get this guy a backer. Oh, nice. Get this guy a backer. Love it. I'm gonna go ahead and check. Five plays. You anything? Two cards. Yeah. Ace Queen Trey. Forty two. Checked around Deceiver, who follows up on the 2K pre-flop bet with a $4,200 barrel. Called by Zach. And Berkey as well. Down to three players. Ace pairs. Seventy-two hundred now. Got a Seaver. Oh, can't do that. You can do whatever you want. Okay, I'm all in. Okay, can't do that one. Work, <laughs> <laughs> he's got to linger around. Gotta gut you to the nuts, man. I thought you would have like King Jack, 10 Jacks. Yeah. My queen was probably good. Yeah. Probably. No takers on the turn as Seaver collects one. I like people don't even consider the fact that Scott might just have a hand. No. No, no, no. I was shoving him. <laughs> like, what the hell is Berkey Lingo? He has a, a weak ace or the King Jack, 10 Jack. Jake's 1800 turns into eight dimes as Negronu presses the Jack-10 suited, a hand that earlier in the session MJ Gonzalez folded pre-flop to a single raise from Daniel. All in. All in now time. Seaver, Fold. the new shooter, says all in with ace-queen suited for 58-6. Snap fold out of Jake. Were you worried about that double check? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> my pants. This was the aces, you know? Because that's what I do in that spot. Like the get real excited, want to shout call, but like I better double check first. Yeah. Scott Seaver had been a little quiet thus far tonight, but a couple of nice pots in a row, and he's finally got some chirping chips. 
Back inside the Poker After Dark suite where the session is getting close to the end, but the straddle is still on, so there'll be no shortage of action. I can guarantee you that. No whammies. Big box. <laughs> More like a cheeseburger. 25, correct? 25. Franzi will close the action. Joining Jake's deuces with his 10-9 offsuit as they tackle the king-queen suited of Daniel. Good card in the window. Two nines behind it, giving Franzi trips and Daniel Drawing dead to the gut shot as the 10 would give Zach the full house. 21. Daniel Barrels, 2100. Both players call and look at that turn card. The deuce of spades giving Daniels a boat. Franzi still with trips, and now Negranu picks up the spade draw, but draws dead. 7,000. bet and call in front of him. Daniels now mulls over what he wants to do. Raise the 29,000. And the answer is raise. He makes it 29,000 total. <laughs> and while Jake does have a full house, this is a slightly uncomfortable situation to be in, as Franzi has made it 64,000 total. All in. All in. What were you waiting for, bub? I mean, if you just slept jacks, you get it, kid. I have a full house. Call. Show me nine deuce. I just say nice thing and twice. Twice is good. Two times. Good nine deuce. Nope. Jake's deuce all in. Why don't you guys turn him over? Then we all know. I don't remember. <laughs> there How you go. How the f do you get that card? Gets virtually oh. all the Franzi's chips into the middle, and they'll run it twice. Oh, well, Find a deuce on the turn. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Daniels. Uh, running it twice? Yeah. yeah. Now 42 times, please. You can go four if you want. Fine. Four? Running it twice? Yeah, I don't care. Go four. Four times. What is it? Four times. Four? Exact. Running it four times. So <laughs> sick. $230,000 pot. <sighs> they will run it four times. Jake locks up 25%. The jacks. Say nice hand. Oh my god, just okay. what do you do? <laughs> take your time though. Now fifty this all over me. Okay. I know they're making work. That a boy. Give him another three, please. Actually give him quads. 
Seventy-five percent. That a boy. You're the man. Clean Clean and sweep. So you're in good shape. I had king, queen of spades. I thought I had something. I guess I was completely wrong. You did. <laughs> wow. What a turn card. Jake Daniels hits the miracle full house, sending Zach Franzi into a confusion and full double up time for Jake in a 230K pot. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Liar. I <laughs> no, 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 that part. Oh, I yeah, the second part was yeah, definitely yeah, that a lie. Part. Yeah, no, I absolutely believe you had it. <laughs> I just don't believe you were happy not to be in there. I've seen punches fly with Zach before, so two in a row is too much, I think. Not over a poker hand, you haven't? No, definitely not over a poker hand. Just want to clear that up. Oh, of course. I assume that went without saying. Yeah, for sure. Call. Even I've never punched a guy over a poker hand, Dan. We raised to 10,000. I believe you. I had to think for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think also. You have a cranberry man? Yeah. Berkey uh, didn't have to think too much. I have punched someone at a poker table. It wasn't over a poker hand. Someone tried to punch me at a poker table, but they missed. And then my friend, who like a, was a D1 wrestler who was watching, just tackled him to the ground. And I didn't get to do a thing other than watch and laugh. It was amazing. Yeah, well played, sir. Yeah. Well played. Just the old swing and a miss. Happens quite often. Yeah. Especially if alcohol is involved. Absolutely. Daniels pushing back. Raised to 33,000. Making it 33 total with his ace queen. As Negreanu gets caught in the crossfire yet again. He says all in, gets snap called, Fair. and we've got a race. Good. Good. Ready play? Yeah. Yes. One hundred seventy thousand dollar pot. One. Well, the boys waited toward the very end of the session to do their big gambling. Here we are. I did not hear any discussion of running it twice. Two jacks safe so far. And they hold all the way down. Second board coming. This one, so far, belongs to Daniels. Berkey, rooting for a queen. Instead, he makes a set. Hiya. Now, board pairs, and he takes it. Jacks full of aces and jacks and sixes. Cool. Perfect timing. 85. For a full double up for Matt Berkey. 85, 84, 5. My team. Did you have 85 or 84, Berkey? Next time on Poker After Dark. I can just hear the guitar. Phil Helmuth brings his home game to the suite. This is my day job. Da 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 da. Ryan Feldman comes with the style. I'm, I'm special. Oh, okay, okay. And Arden Cho comes with the action. Close. <laughs> <laughs>